Hello guys, how are you? This is Zuram and today we're going to set up working environment for PHP. We are going to install XAMPP, which is a package of Apache plus MariaDB uh, database plus PHP. So we're going to install XAMPP and set up and I'm going to explain all necessary steps to make it working. And we're going to also install a uh, working IDE for PHP. Uh, my recommendation goes to JetBrains product PHP Storm, which is really intelligent IDE, and I really recommend to use it. Uh, if you are a Linux user uh, and you have a Debian or a Fedora distribution, you probably need to install as a separate packages um, for HTTP for Apache you need to install HTTPD for MySQL you need to install MySQL server and so on so if you are a Linux user um, you maybe need to follow these instructions uh, for uh, you can find the links uh, in the video description DigitalOcean provides a really good step-by-step uh, -step tutorials how to install these tools so this is for Fedora and this is for Ubuntu. Um, but also XAMPP provides a package for, for Linux. I'm on Windows, so I'm going to download XAMPP for Windows. Okay, XAMPP is downloaded. I'm going to click on it and let's install it. Meanwhile, I'm going to go to the PHP Storm link and hit on the download now button on it also. So when you when you start installing XAMPP, it may give you this warning because of activated user uh, account control. Uh, you can just click the OK button, nothing serious. So here, the XAMPP package provides the following components. It provides MySQL, a FileZilla FTP server, Mercury Mail server, Tomcat, and so on. We are not gonna need all of them, although you can leave them as a checked and install them. But I'm gonna uncheck uh, Tomcat, Mercury, and FileZilla FTP server. And also, I don't need this uh, webalizer. So I need PHP, Apache, uh, MySQL. And additionally, um, I'm going to install PHP My Admin, which is a web client uh, written on PHP for MySQL. And I'm going to leave fake send mail, so later if I need to simulate email sending, this will help me. By default, XAMPP is installed under C drive, so I'm going to leave it as it is right now and click on Next. While this is installing, let's try to install PHP Storm also. I have a, a lecturer license for a year, so I'm going to provide my credentials and reg register it. I'm going to install 64-bit launcher and I want to add this open folders project context menu. Next, install. Okay, both of them are installed and let's start with the XAMPP control panel. So do you want to start control panel uh, now? Uh, yes, I want to start the control panel and I want to start the Apache web server. This XAMPP control panel and it has the uh, components which uh, the XAMPP contains, but we didn't install FileZilla, Mercury and Tomcat, so we don't we have them disabled. Uh, we have Apache in MySQL, so I'm going to start Apache, which by default starts on port 80 and 443. Uh, previously, um, Skype was uh, occupying port 80, so if you have some problems uh, on starting the Apache web server, you may need to check if some other software uses this port, or maybe port 443. When the Apache is started, you can type localhost in your web browser and it will give you the uh, dashboard page for Apache. 
This means that I have successfully installed Apache Web Server and I can already start writing PHP applications. If I want to connect to the database, I need to start MySQL also. When I start MySQL, it, by default it starts on port uh, 3306. So I can type localhost slash php my admin, which is, as I mentioned, web client for uh, written on PHP for MySQL. Um, when I access the page, it opens this dashboard. So it, it successfully connected to the database. And on the right side, I have all details about the database. The server type is MariaDB. So MySQL and MariaDB are slightly different databases. Here's my web server. Here's my PHP version, which is 7.3. And all of the information uh, about the server and MySQL is written here. More correctly, about MariaDB. Now let's open PHP Storm and create our first Hello World application. So here is my PHP. I'm going to check the uh, checkbox, run PHP Storm, and open it. If you had previously installed PHP Storm and you are installing new version, you can choose settings from the previous version. So I'm gonna I'm gonna use this right now from previous version, which is 2017. We have successfully installed our environment. We have installed Apache Web Server. We have installed um, MariaDB database and of course PHP, and we have installed PHP Storm for writing code. That's all for now. Uh, in the next video, we're, we will start uh, creating some variables and functions and we're gonna jump into the code. Thanks for watching. See you in the next time.